In this tutorial, we are going to talk about using the VR event system in SimLab Composer to further enhance the VR experience for architectural designs. To begin, you need to switch the workbench to virtual reality, then click on the start position. The starting position will determine the initial location of the user at the beginning of the VR experience. So, let's place it at the entrance of the office. The event that we need to create is when the viewer approaches the glass door. It would slide open automatically. First, we need to create an animation sequence for the door opening. Go to the Animation tab in the bottom panel and set the current frame to frame 40. Now slide the right glass door to the right as if it were open and slide the other door to the left. Select the assembly containing both parts of the door, and you will notice two new keyframes at frame 0 and frame 40. If you play the animation back and forth, you will see the door opening and closing, which is what we need for this example. Now select the keyframe in the Animation tab and click on Create Animation Sequence. Make sure you mark the Create Reverse since we need a version of the animation sequence where the doors are closing. Then type in a name for the animation sequence and click OK. To create the event, from the Actions menu, select VR Events. The upper part of the VR Events window lists all the events created in the scene. The second part determines the type of the event. And in the bottom section you can determine the response for each event. The event type that we are going to use in this example is Object Entering Object. This event will trigger a response whenever a specific object enters a specific zone or object, and it can serve us here if we set the moving object to be the starting position model. As for the area need, we can create a ghost object located at the door to mimic the range of the door's sensor. From the Create menu, select Shapes, then click on Cylinder. Place the cylinder at the door and rescale it as you see fit. Now set the newly added cylinder as the area node in the event. In the Response section of the dialog, switch the response to Play a Sequence and select the animation sequence for the sliding door. What we have now is a new event where upon the starting position entering the cylinder at the door, the sliding door animation sequence will play. Click on the event in the list at the top and click on the Copy icon. To create a reverse version of this event, Change the copied event type to Object Exited Object. Set the starting position as the moving node and the area node to be the cylinder. As for the sequence, change it to the reversed version of the door opening sequence. Since we do not want the cylinder to be apparent in the scene, select it and set its alpha value to 0 to turn it completely invisible. From the View menu, select Desktop Mode. As expected of the door's behavior, once you approach the door and enter the cylinder, the door opens and once you step away from the door, it automatically closes. Go back to SimLab Composer and let us create another example that uses the same type of event. We have a group of lights in the scene that are hidden, and when you select the lights group and press S on your keyboard to make them visible, the room lights up. We can create an event that controls the light in the scene using scene states. From the Scene States menu, select Capture. Make sure that the Visibility attribute is selected. And with the lights shown, click on Capture from Selection. 
Now select the lights group again and press H on your keyboard to hide them. Then click on Capture from Selection again. We now have two scene states that control the visibility of the lights. Let's create a ghost shape similar to the cylinder we created for the door, but this time create a box to fix the floor in the room. Position the box inside the room and rescale it to cover the whole room. From the Actions menu, select VR Events. Click on the plus icon to add a new event and set the type to Object Enters Object. Set the moving node to be the starting position and the area node to be the newly created box. As for the response, set it to apply the first scene state where the lights are on. Create another event and set the type to Object Exited Object. Set the starting position as the moving node, and the area node to be the box. Set the second scene state where the lights are off as the response for this event. Set the visibility for the box to zero, and run the desktop mode to see the result. The VR event system in SimLab Composer gives unprecedented potentials to your architectural VR experience. You can now create various types of events that control the behavior in your scene with simplicity and ease.